very common problem area in a uh, head knee inside single is trick knee and trick knee wizard type situations. So we're going to cover a few of those. Uh, again, we're keeping with our philosophy of, of shoulder pressure and driving with our feet into the thigh and into your opponent's hips. As the guy starts to trick knee, if I can recognize this soon enough, what I want to do is drive that weight off me so I can continue to that sweeping motion and, and beat the corner and come up. So I shot my sweep here, and he starts to trick me. I want to get into him and run that corner where I come up and get that leg out. Get away, out from underneath that weight and pressure. But commonly, you know, what happens is this guy goes to the trick knee in a wizard position where it becomes very tight. Now, now we're in a bit of a, a problem area, deeper. Uh, you notice my inside hand, I've already adjusted uh, to get it above the knee. But if it's not here, I would like to do two things. I'm going to scoop with my inside knee. Right here, I'm going to step over and scoop the heel, attack the ankle, and then get my inside hand above the knee to where I can drive. Keep that wizard tight. So you trip knees down, I scoop here, get above the knee, hip, hip in hard. There's a lot of weight and pressure here. It's tough. It's kind of a real dogfight position, especially the harder this guy wings into me, hips into me. It's going to be ugly. So uh, it's not pretty, but I can win. I'm going to pressure forward this way, forward and up until I can fish that leg out and come up to my finish. Or a lot of times we'll finish here on the knees where once I get this hand out, I'm going to trap far ankle or far knee and then continue to work. Okay, so I sweep, he trick me, wizards. I'm here again, trying to keep my head up as much as possible. Hands posted, support me. I'm going to scoop. I'm going to scoop with my knee and get this inside hand up, drive, and come up. Another, another tactic here, you trip knees and wizards, and wherever my hand is here, I still, I want to keep that pressure again. Now I'm going to take my inside knee and slide it under his ankle, here, to where I'm, I'm tabling this ankle right up, right up on my hip, higher up on my thigh, I can get it the stronger I'm going to be. So, in this way I slide it in and up. Now, I can use my hip and leg strength to elevate and come up and look to my finishes, okay? This is, again, these are all dogfight type scenarios where it may not be pretty and it may not be smooth, but if, I, if I'm diligent, I keep fighting. Even if I only get my knee under it here, I'll take my support hand and attack here, come up, up and in, and just keep working my way up and into the position until I can fish that leg out. Uh, third and final one. He tricked me, he's hard here. My arm's really caught. He's got a lot of weight over his ankle and hip into me, and I just can't seem to get it, uh, get any momentum going this way. Uh, what I'll try to do here is I'm going to try to look to rubber arm out, limp arm out of this position. But it's very important, again, the continued pressure into the thigh. When he's got a really good bite on me here, and I just try to pull this out, and he, it's not going to come. It's not coming out. I can keep pressure. The harder he pushes into me, the harder I must push in back. Okay, I can buy myself a little bit of space. Again, you see my head's up, my hand's posted, everything is trying to do the right movement. I just can't get this arm out. I can't get it out. Then I'm going to hop here. I'm going to hop up here, down here, pressure in, and then I release. Boom. Palm to the ceiling, and I limp arm and come back to the inside of the thigh. And then crotch. I want to be very careful there that uh, I'm not coming to the waist as I pressure in. Boom, here. One thing i got to be aware of, 
is the guy kicking out and running out. Okay, so this pressure, as I hop, I may even use this hand to catch ankle. Here, and then come inside to finish and secure the takedown. So, head to the inside position. The guys trick me, Wizard. We're giving you a couple options there and uh, to play around with. Hopefully you can find success.